Pisces, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back uh, all my cyber angels and um, thank you very much for your support and uh, your shares and your likes. I really do appreciate that and I hope you have enjoyed our weekly vlog um, this week uh, or last week. I don't know when I'm uh, putting this out. I'm taping it on the 26th or on the 25th of March. This is your reading for the 30th till the 6th of um, April. And I hope you enjoy this as well. I'm using the Enchanted Dreams Tarot. You have seen it before. And I'm only using it um, as the reading for the week and the clarifying card and the bottom of the deck as the all over energy and the angel feather and the archangel Michael. They're from different authors. The Enchanted Dreams is from Yasmin Westwood and I'll be doing an interview with her and I hope you enjoy that uh, as well. I am looking really forward to it. I'm excited about it and these two deck, uh, decks Archangel Michael and the Angel Feather uh, Oracle deck is from Michelle Newton. You can find the decks in the playlist, in the review playlist, and I'll be putting them out again, uh, the playlist underneath this video. So we're going to start off with Monday, and you've got the Empress. Doesn't she look beautiful? I love the apricot dress she's wearing. You know, and you don't have to be uh, thin. You can also be a bit, uh, uh, yeah, what, 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 what I, why I like about this deck is that um, this, this lady is a little bit uh, extra large size. And I love this from the author because uh, in America, say big is beautiful. It can be. It can be. You don't have to be a model. So I'm glad that this beautiful author has taken all sh uh, size, shapes, short. Uh, uh, I've got the Dutch word is so much nicer than the English word. I don't like the word fat because fat, it's not fat, it's just cuddly. Cuddly. I just, I just, you know. The Empress, you, well, you've got the Empress, you've got old ones, young ones, thin ones, fat ones. Um, Moloch, Moloch, I don't know what the English word is. I asked Google what Moloch is, it's chubby. But I just don't like the English language. They haven't got the right uh, word for it. I think cuddly is a much better word for it. But the Empress is also Libra, so you might be meeting a Libra Pisces, okay? Uh, the Empress uh, stands for fertility, so if you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. Um, she also stands for birth. This could be of a child or a project, a new job, a new house, anything like that. She is Mother Earth, so she's got green fingers like the Queen of Pentacles. So it means uh, something is uh, has been born and has to grow. So she'll nurture it, she'll protect it. Okay. Um, it also means what grows must come to fruition. So that means blossoming. So after the blossom, you can harvest. If you have in, invested in something, an idea, and you've put the idea into uh, fruition, um, into uh, action, then now it's time perhaps that you will be harvesting. You've got the Queen of Swords. Perhaps um, the Queen of Swords is a person that thinks that um, she stands for wisdom. She stands for communication, but she also protects through thick and thin the ones she loves and what she loves, okay? This could be her family, this could be her job. 
She also stands for justice. She will use that sword to slay anybody down that is injustice, does injustice. She'll cut straight through to the core to get the truth, to get the honest answer, to get to the core of things. She, it's like you imagine you're walking through a jungle, but she will use her sword to cut away the big plants to make a path. You might be meeting a Libra, but also Libra comes back into the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords can be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian Pisces. But the Queen of Swords is also uh, the, um, uh, the um, uh, Libra. Okay, so you've got two cards saying Libra. But because you've got the Queen of Swords, she does represent uh, the, the, the Libra because the King is the Gemini. But it, she also represents all the other air signs because she is a person's card. This could be a woman, but it doesn't have to be a woman. It can also be a man with a nur feminine side to him, a nurturing side, a loving side. Somebody that nurtures something uh, that will grow into something like the Empress. That is on Monday. You might be getting news. Perhaps you've started something new and you need legal assistance. Like if you're going to open up a shop or open up a business or you have contracts to sign because you're getting a new job. You might need clarity. You might need clarity whether the contract is right. Okay, so be aware. On Wednesday, you have the five of ones. No, this is not the boys playing. This is all ladies and girls. The five of ones means there could be disagreements, but it could also mean competition. Now, if it is with regard to signing contracts, then um, it could mean disagreements. You have read the small print. Well done. And something is not to your liking or is not clear. So don't be afraid to talk about it. Communicate like the Queen of Swords does. You've got the Six of Cups. So it could be somebody from the past coming uh, back and presenting you with something that you don't agree about. Or that could be competitive. Okay. You've got the Six of Cups. Now, I love this the way it's been uh, uh, depicted because of all these old portraits. So it could be something from the past or an idea could, because it's lying next to the Queen. It could be an idea that you had in the past that is coming to fruition, as I said, because you've put it into action. And you get it, you have got competition, but you're not scared because you've got the information. Okay, good, good, good. So you might be reminiscing about the past. There might be a thought of the past that's coming to fruition. Okay, you're not scared of the competition. Of course, you'll cut straight away and cut, see straight through it what is good, what is not good. Then you have the Page of Swords. So that is the Aquarian. So there might be an Aquarian around you, okay, that brings you news. This could be a young Aquarian. It could, although it is represents Aquarian, it could be any um, air sign. But air is quite, quite significant. So you will be getting news. It could be through email, text message or telephone calls. And I was talking about you sowing seeds and needing time to grow. Well, here you are. Apparently, you have sown something. And that's on Friday. So what you have sown, you shall reap. Because you've got the seven of pentacles. It's bringing in revenue. Wow. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, Pisces. 
Now you've got temperance, and temperance is also uh, representing Sagittarius. That is a fire sign, so you might be partnering up with an, um, with, uh, an air sign, you know. This could be Lib uh, Libra, this could be a Libra because that's prominent, and you could be um, partnering up with a Sagittarius. Okay, so you might be out of balance otherwise. Temperance means balance. You might be out of balance or something. The books might be out of balance as it is also the tax time or for the tax return uh, now. Okay. And you've got the lovers. And the lovers means you might be meeting your soulmate. Um, the love is, is also balance, the black and the white. Here you can see a man, but you can't see his face. But the love is, is also number two, and number two means balance. Although it's number six, you will be getting back into balance if you're out of whack, or you are definitely in balance. Okay. Let's have a look what I can think. You've got the five of ones here, that means discord. So uh, you might have seeked advice from uh, a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarium, but the queen is uh, Libra and Libras uh, are also scales. Uh, there again, you've got um, thinking about it, shall I think about it or not? But you might have sought advice to get balance. Wow, this is magical. I love how these cards work, really. And I think this is answering, giving me an answer. You've got the Four of Cups. So you are too much in your head and you weren't balanced. You couldn't actually be putting the idea like the Queen of Swords thinks and stands for wisdom, learning, thinking and the air signs are known to be too much in their head so perhaps you might have air in your chart if you are not meeting uh, a libra or a queen of air uh, you might be too much in your head or depressed and you're only focusing on what is in front of you and not what is around you so there will be an offer there will be an offer, so the news can be an offer. Or somebody might be coming back from the past, which is an air sign or a fire sign. And I've got a feeling there is an idea or something from the past that is uh, put into life now and is coming to fruition. I think the offer Let's say you've written a book and you've approached publishers and it's taken time for it to come alive, okay? To be born. And you've got this partnership. Lovers is partnership in love or in business. Wow. And they're making you an offer. So you will be back in balance at the weekend so long you look around you be aware of what's happening around you and be ready for it okay then we have the um, gray angel feather the answer is maybe the angels acknowledge your question but are unable to give you a definite answer at this time yes if you do get the offer then you might have to take time to think about it, but don't take too long, uh, like a Libra, okay? Don't, because that's their, that's their um, weak link. That's the weak side of the Libra. They procrastinate, okay? So, the answer is maybe, only when you've tweaked it, Will you know the answer? Usually the answer is already within you. 
divine aid. Nobleman, Archangel Michael, hands you an energetic key. This sacred key ushers in the arrival of a nobleman to assist you in your time of need. Wow! Somebody from the past giving you an offer. Boom! Two cards that says offer. Bringing something in could be an offer. There could be a man, it could be a Libra, or it could be a fire sign. Okay, a Sagittarius. And they're both very good in business, Sagittarius and uh, Libra. They're the opposites. Gemini and Sagittarius are opposites. Okay. And again, um, Libra is a two sign scale, two scales to balance. Also, lovers, two. Two is very significant. It might be your lucky number for the week. Now, the, the card that stands out most for me is um, the Queen of Swords. And I'm going to take her. Uh, I don't know why, but that is the, the card that popped out most in my mind. Is the Queen of Swords. Okay. Honest, astute, witty, experienced, forthright, calm, swift action, decisive, perceptive, independent, shrewd, independent, integrity, organizer, divorced, woman, sophisticated, chatty, self-disciplined, candid, self-reliant, discerning, and mediator. Those are the key words for the Queen of Swords. Question for this week, and that's what I'm going to ask you. Do you stand up for what you believe in? No matter what others expect of you, can you say no? Very nice question. Perhaps you got into trouble because you kept on saying, yes, 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 I'll do this, I'll do that. And somebody else is coming in to save you. Because Archangel Michael is sending you a nobleman, a divine aid with the golden key, the key that you can hold so you can come back in your power. Perhaps somebody from the past, okay? Perhaps from the divine, because the Four of Cups usually has, is the only one besides the uh, traditional tarot where you see the hand coming out of the clouds. That's also with the Four of Cups. So the Divine has your back. Now, um, today or this week, say no to something you really do not want to do, but usually do to please others. That is what I would like you to do. Say no this week to something that you really do not want to do, but usually do to please others. So know your boundaries. Show your boundaries to others. Okay? So that you learn from this. Okay? I love this reading. I hope you have as well. Take care, my sweet Pisces, and I hope to see you or meet you in the live sessions. Wait, Monday and Friday is English live sessions, and Wednesday is the Dutch live sessions. And I hope you enjoy the vlog, uh, the witch's vlog. You can see it. Usually it appears on uh, Wednesday afternoon and I'll be, uh, I've updated the website as well. So if you click on this little white dot just here in the corner, it will take you to the website and you can see uh, the information, the updates, the videos um, that I have put up there, uploaded and the uh, latest news. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and the bell, then you'll be notified.
If you would like an extensive reading, again, you can find it uh, in the website which kind of readings I offer. Take care, be blessed, and have a beautiful week. The romance of readings will be uh, up and running by the end of the week as well. Take care. Love you all.